Well, hello, my fellow car modelers. Okay, I'm gonna blow my mouth off again. This one might ruffle some feathers. <laughs> First, before I get into just exposing the truth here and making everybody mad, I just wanna show you what I've been working on. I'm back on the uh, Volvo. I'm gonna be having an update video here pretty soon. I'm still working on the next part for an adventure in building a model car. It's taken a little bit more time than I thought between the IPMS show and doing the video for that and just some other things that have come up it's taking time to get some good content for you got something that's kind of been gnawing at me a little making me laugh more so but uh, wait a second not cold it's fresh now i can begin here we go model kit hoarding oh just wrecking the hobby just wrecking the hobby okay i got this comment i've had it a couple times some of you guys, especially on my past video on me doing my room, I kind of find it quite absurd of a comment where after I laughed my <laughs> off, I politely deleted it because it was just a worthless comment that meant nothing and didn't bring anything of any value to anyone. I had someone actually say that me, me, I am the problem with the hobby or I am what ruins the hobby because I hoard models. Wow. First of all, jealousy is a funny thing. It makes me laugh a lot, and it makes you look like a frickin' fool, dude. But, with that being said, 99.9% .9 of the guys in the hobby, whether it's cars, tanks, planes, are model hoarders, because it's a part of the hobby. I've stated that before. It's fun. And, let me tell you this, if it wasn't for us model hoarders throughout the years, because I don't care what you say, kids weren't buying these even back in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. If it wasn't for us model hoarders, you wouldn't be able to go and find that old kit that you never got, that you finally got at a swap meet, because some person who was wrecking the hobby like me kept it for a bunch of years bought it off the shelf thought i'm gonna do something with this but i got a million other ideas and i want these kits and these kits are coming out next and the model companies wouldn't sell kits so where do you think the model companies would be today they wouldn't be in business if it wasn't for us model hoarders it's just a ridiculous concept that i i i can't I'm gonna say it. Yep, Luke is gonna say it. The stupidity in that comment just makes me laugh so much. Ha 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 Yeah, I, I can remember when I first started building model cars, I had like four kits. Uh, and I stressed out thinking, oh, oh wow, I need to build these because I can't go buy any more kits till I get these built. And that was stressing me out because there was other kits I wanted. Until one day, um, you know, I met up with the local model car club here in town that at the time back in the late 80s was an awesome club They're kind of like not around anymore. They think they are but they're not the first place I went to for the meeting or actually it was before the meeting the first guy I met um, He took me into his model room and I was like wow look at all these kits Oh, how cool it is to have whatever you want right at your fingertips and then oh, there's all these parts and kits that, well, I got that for that part, and I got that for that part. And, you know, you have it at your access. You have the accessibility to just grab it when you need it. Because, you know, you're getting creative. You're building your model and go, oh, there's this part that's in this one kit. I'll go get it. What the heck? That's what it's for. And then I go over to the next few meetings I go to. I go to these guys' houses. Like, I'm going to take you to one of these in one of the episodes. One of the guys that his model room just made me go, oh, I want to have this one day. Now, I think this guy's wrecking the hobby. He makes the hobby bad. He's got all these kits. I can't have them. So he's bad man no i was like wow well, someday i want to have these kits and it inspired me and it was like that was something that just made another part of the hobby even better and going over these guys houses and seeing these kits wow it was inspiring and and i set my model room up and i get the enjoyment out of my model room when i come in here that's a bad thing too is having enjoyment and I set my model room up a lot like those guys in that informative years of my early model building that inspired me to set my model room up the way I do, build the way I do, everything that I do in the hobby. Those guys are a huge part of that, and a couple of them watch. I think is really cool. You guys know who you are. Greg, right? You know you, you, you. Tommy, Tommy, I know you're watching. Sean is making you watch this, right? I'm coming to your house, Tommy. I'm going to show your model room on this channel. You met Dave the other episode when we went to the IPMS show. I'm going to be showing you his stuff. Those guys are what inspired me to be what I am today in the hobby. And I think it's a good thing. <laughs> and I've cultivated great friendships 
long-lasting friendships. Uh, these guys mean a lot to me. Wow. I just would hate to be, I don't even know your name out there, if you're even watching this, if you stop watching because I hoard models, you poor guy. Wow, it must suck to be you, just being that miserable, that you look at a guy on the internet instead of inspiration is what this whole channel is about, and you look at all the comments, 99.9% .9 of the people down there post comments saying how they're inspired, and that that really drives me. Um, it. it I'm a, I'm out of words on this one. It's just so mind blowing, and someone would think like that. And I know those people are out there because um, the great club that we had here and and the great things that happened in the hobby here got ruined by people like that, and it's pretty sad. One day I hope that the guys who originated, because they're still out there, Greg, Tommy, Jerry, Pontiac Mike, you guys are out there. I've always said to you, start a new club, and I'll be there. And I'm saying it to the world: start a new club, and I'll be there. Because uh, you guys started that great club back in the 70s and it was something that mm, inspired the heck out of me and it was nothing but positives and you guys are nothing but positive. Greg, you've commented, I know you're watching. Come on, man, we talked about this. So, uh, yeah, it's time and, and it's time to get bad negative stuff out of this hobby. That's, that was one of my driving forces of starting this channel is I want the negative garbage out of this hobby so bad because it's wrecked so many really great things and there's so many really great things on the horizons especially here in phoenix you guys who are here in phoenix oh boy there's something cool coming i can't say what it is but you guys are going to be surprised and going to be loving it and it's going to be cool it's going to change the model landscape here in the valley of the sun i'm going to drink some more coffee to that one not as warm, but it's not cold yet. We'll get to it cold by the end of this video, I swear. Let's stay positive, guys. Uh, go out there, hoard models, because we need these models preserved for the next generation. The way I look at it is, you know, I know, I know I'm not going to build every freaking single one of these, but I keep buying models. I bought more the other day, brought a couple more models home. I'm glad to have them, you know? I, I dropped 50 freaking bucks on this thing. Thrilled about it, and I hope to build it, but I might hoard it thinking I might build it. But the thing about it is, is the day that I go, I know where these kits are going to go, and I know one day someone else is going to be inspired and enjoy the hobby, and they'll be the next caretakers of this collection. And it's going to make my daughter and my grandson some money, which makes me happy. Use your head, guys, if you got a family. Well, I'm sure that miserable what and such and such. That was my phone, not yours. He probably doesn't have anybody to leave models to. I said it! It's just my daughter. You know what? If she keeps doing this kind of stuff and interrupting my videos, she's not getting these model kits. Heck with her. I'll give him that guy who says I'm, I'm, I'm bad for the hobby. That's all I got to say about that. We're going to move on with life. I got a lot better things to do than to lament on some... Uh, 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 I can't use the words on this channel. I want to so bad. It's just funny. I, oh, people like that are such a joke. So for crying out loud, just... You guys out there who have some sense about you, well, you keep on buying kits. Don't worry about what other people say. Who cares? Have fun. I met some great people at the IPMS show. It, it's so cool. Even tank guys and airplane guys come up to me. Hey, I'm building model cars now. Or, you know, I just, you're, you're funny and I like watching your channel and, and, and it inspires me to build my type of models. It, whatever. That's awesome. That's what it's about. That's what we're all having fun with. And, uh, cool man let's keep doing it i got some model building to do i mean i gotta go to work today but uh, i'm gonna try to get some more building in on my uh my uh my volvo here yeah check it out i got the front suspension done now i'm gonna work on the re rear suspension before i go to work and maybe tonight when i get home whoo that's a neat kit. I love those Tamiya kits. I'm going to get that thing done. And a little future telling of an upcoming video. I got a paint job planned for that that I am going to make a video out of. That you guys are going to like it, especially if you like to... If you're having issues in doing your two-tone or, or multicolor paint jobs and maybe even trying to do some tricky paint jobs like candying or anything like that, I'm going to do it all on that body. And I'm going to show you how to do it. And do it on the cheap with Tamiya paints. I think that one's going to be really cool. Uh, there's some real flexibility with Tamiya paints you might not be aware of. And 
this is it's going to be cool. There, I said that, and uh, I'm done with this, and I'm done with that. But I want to remind you guys. Look down in the description below. I got a link to my Teespring. I'm selling these really cool shirts that I think everyone should have a Scully shirt. Make sure that you show everyone that you're a model hoarder. I think I'm going to make a model hoarder t-shirt. I think that'll be funny. We're ruining the hobby, aren't we, guys? And I have links down there to my daughter's two channels and my son-in-law's channel. And I've got a link to my other channel, Luca C, that I talk about other things that I'm interested in like my car and my guitars and crap like that can I say crap crap like that and um so check that out you might get a laugh out of that because I'm a ridiculous fool over there we got the link to the model car hobby headquarters group down there and the page and also don't forget the mediocre modelers group man that thing has grown huge and there's all kinds of builders on there and there's so much inspiration and I want to see more car guys on there we're getting some car guys on there but Man, the car guys, and there are some dudes that build awesome tanks that you car guys are going to, you're going to love the stuff that they do. It's, it's inspiring just to look at, you know, take a look at a plane, take a look at a tank, take a look at a diorama of a, of a war scene from World War II or whatever it is. Miniatures are so cool. That's what got me in the hobby. I just happen to be really into cars, but I first and foremost love miniatures. And uh, you ought to go over to Andy's channel and check out. He just dropped a video on the IPMS show just showing some stills of a lot of the other models that were there. I just showed cars because that's why I do in a couple spaceships because I'm out of my freaking mind. Yeah, check out what else was there. That, that's really cool. Maybe I'll put a link below to that, that video. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I don't know. Andy, should I? You got 100,000 subscribers. Yeah, because he got his silver play button uh, the other day. And, and I, I, well, I touched it. And I did, I touched it. So now I need 100,000 subscribers. Uh, uh, 100,000 subscribers. So anyways, uh, I'm done with my rant. I know, I've made a bunch of you smile and realize don't even let those fools wreck your hobby you keep on doing what you do because you 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 be you i'll be me you you be you he'll be him and you be you 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 be you i'll be me he'll be him you know subscribe if you haven't hit that like button because i guess it does something for me i'm gonna stop rambling now it's time to go i gotta i want to try to get some model building in before i gotta go to work because i got uh you know just a few more minutes here and uh and then I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go make a living. Got a lot more things on the way, and we will see you in the next video. Yep, it went cold. Go check them out. Well, it's not for me. I don't want to be driving a Porsche. No. <laughs> and that one is 39.